Hey guys, Amy here with your September swag. This is my favorite time of the year for nail art. I love it so much. This is a really fun swag. We've got some neon Halloween going on. So let's get into what's in your swag this month. So to get started, we've got our Outshine Top Coat. This is a 60 Second Cure No Wipe Top Coat. This is really good for art or if you're using it for mixing anything. Um, so this is going to work really well with our design today. And then we've got our Clear Stamper with the Scraper. And then we've got, ooh, I'm just dropping everything today. This is our White Stamping Polish. And we've got our glow liners are here, guys. So orange is in your swag bag. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a code to pick up the rest of the colors if you want to. So stay tuned. And this is the new stamping plate. And this is great for your neon designs because it's got a little bit thicker lines. So it's a really good base. I am not a really fast hand painter, so if I can get a little help with the stamping plate, I'm all for it. All right, so I've already swatched tips. I've got one black, one nude, and basically we usually always see these neon light designs over black, but they go well over any color, so I wanted to show you over nude as well. So we're just going to peel the uh, film off of our stamping plate. Oh, it's so pretty and we're going to choose our design. I'm going to go with the Scream Mask just because it's one of my favorites. And little tip, when you're putting your stamping polish on your plate, make sure you're putting enough on there. A lot of the times I see stampers putting just a little bit of polish on there. You definitely want to fill it up. The thinner you go, the, lo the quicker it's going to dry. So you're just going to have to work too fast. So go a little bit thicker, give it a couple scrapes, and then we're going to take our clear stamper and kind of just give it a roll. Now we've got some extra designs on here, so I'm just going to take a lint roller and kind of roll these right off just so that it doesn't get on the nail. It's easier to clean it off the stamper than it would be on the nail. So just make sure you get rid of all that extra stuff and then we're just going to place it right in the center and perfect. Also, I forgot to mention inside the box with your gel liner is a replacement brush. So if your brush does get bent, you have a replacement. Okay, so now we're going to take our Outshine and I'm going to place three dollops of Outshine on a palette. And this is what we're going to use to give us three different shades of our orange striper. Now we're going to take our orange liner and we're going to add this to the Outshine. Now the three shades that we want, we want one about 70% opacity, one about 40% opacity, and one is going to be more like a 20-25% opacity. So a little bit more, a little bit less, and then even more or less. So we want to do this to start to create the haze around the white to give it that neon light effect. All right, so we're going to start with the darkest of the three. And I am just using my liner brush. I just cleaned it off so that I wouldn't get any more orange than I wanted. And we're just basically going right over, just kind of tracing where our stamping went. If this goes out a little bit outside the lines, that's completely fine. And we're just, again, just basically tracing. And you're going to want to do this over the entire design. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and put that in. We're going to cure that for just a quick flash cure. 10, 15 seconds is fine. Okay, so now we're going to take our second color, which is the medium, and we're going to go right outside of our lines. And also make sure you go inside on the other side of the line as well. 
and not too far, but this is how we start to create that haze that neon lights give off. So right outside your tracing. And again, when you're finished with this, we're going to give it another flash cure. 10, 15 seconds is just fine. And now last, we're gonna go with our lightest color and go even further outside the line. And again, when we're finished with this, we're doing another flash cure. Okay, so when that comes out of the light, our final touch is going to be to put a fine white line in the center of our design. So I'm just gonna use the white stamping polish and I'm going to take my liner and I'm gonna do as fine of a line as I can right in the center of the design. So it looks like I did not video while I was top coating, so you guys will see the final uh, design at the very end. So we're gonna go on to our second design and we're gonna choose this cute little ghost we're going to do the same thing, put our stamping polish on, go ahead and give it a roll and clean up that stamper before you apply it to the nail. And this one we're going to put over the nude nail. And again, we're just gonna kind of put it right in the center. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to use the same colors that we made for our last design and we're going to take the most opaque and go over the white lines and then second one goes out a little further, third one goes out even further. And don't forget, we are flash curing in between every layer. Last touch again is that white line as fine as you can get it right in the center and I again I'm using just the stamping polish but you can also use white gel doesn't matter. So you can do this with shiny or matte. I am choosing to do matte because I feel like the texture of the matte really gives it that haze that it needs but either one is just fine. I know some clients prefer gloss and some prefer matte, so either way it looks great. So here they are, fresh out of the light and looking so cute, ready for Halloween. And let's dim this light down, you guys can see them glow. They have a great glow to them. So I mentioned that I would give you guys a code if you wanted to pick up the rest of the colors, which there are red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So if you wanna pick up the rest of these colors, use code GLOW22 and get free shipping on your entire order. And these will be up on the website by Monday. So thank you so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome and I will see you next month. Happy Halloween.